looks pretty fair. Okay, while it's still selected, I'm going to do the mirror merge vertical and drag this over here. Um, enter. Now I want you to realize that you don't have to just mirror merge once. You can do it repeatedly. So this time we can select both of those and do mirror merge vertical again and put it here. And we have the beginnings of a border that you could take it all the way around a table runner or something like that or a, a mantle scarf. Um, if you wanted to do the layout of the whole border at once, you could take all of this. No, we don't want control A because we don't want that extra one I have out there. So, didn't work. You got to get it all when you're doing this bounding box. We could take all of that and mirror merge it horizontal now and take it over to the other side of our um, table runner or whatever it is. And there we have it. Okay. And you could do the same thing for up on top. We could control D to duplicate this. Bring it up here. And click on it again. And rotate it until it sits pretty straight on the grid. That's pretty good. It. We can mirror merge horizontal. There. And again, mirror merge horizontal. There's that. And if we take these four. We're going to have to reduce it so we can see it. And I can go ahead and group that so those all stay together. And we can scoot it over here. And I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard again. I could have just drug it. And it's keeping up even after I quit. So the computer isn't as fast as I am. Whoops, undo. I thought I grouped that. I guess I didn't. I must have clicked on ungroup instead. Group. And I'm using the arrow keys again. Okay. And then if we click on this top one, and this time I'm going to use the polygon select because I'm getting in here tight now where I might be selecting some of the other, and enter to finish it up. Let's go ahead and group that one as well. And mirror merge vertical. Bring it up into the middle. If we go right between those two, that should be centered. Okay, let's go back to show the whole thing. So there we have a border. I'm going to move this out of here. And we've done mirror merge horizontal and mirror merge vertical now. So let's look at mirror merge horizontal and vertical. Click on it. And that just gives you... You can bring them as close as you want or as far away as you want. That would be maybe nice for putting in the corner of, of a square. You can bring them either side. There. And that's what that one does. It just keeps them at 90 degree angles. Okay, all of the tools down here are going to mirror 